do, do, do. Okay, well, that was kind of fair. But anyway, hello, I'm Lady Krillix, and I'm welcoming you back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last part, we made our first ventures into Mount Cornell after finishing up some stuff in Hyrule Town. In this part, we'll go a little further. Now, you drop down this Minish hole, there's a kinstone piece near. This Minish can't fuse with you just yet, and he just talks about how the blue beans like regular water and the green beans like the Cornell Mountain water, which we so fortuitously uh, brought with us, which is good, because otherwise we'd have to backtrack, and that's not good. Anyway, we'll come into this cave, because there's something good in here that I want to get, just to make sure I don't miss it later, pass by it, whatever. Anyway, I do have a bit of an announcement, though. Um, I am not going to have internet access from this Friday, the 23rd of July, until like August 7th. Um, it's because I'm going to be visiting some relatives of mine, and unless the one that the, the relatives that have internet have it set up as wireless so that my laptop can get it, I'm not going to have any inter internet access whatsoever. And since I use an internet recording device, you know, Screen Toaster. Um, since I use Screen Toaster, I won't be able to get online and record Minish Cat videos. So, it'll have to- my Minish Cat LP will have to be put on hold. So, and from what I've seen using Cam Studio and stuff, um, it's really long and drawn out and I'm not technically inclined that way and it's just a whole lot of bother. I, I'm just gonna stick to using Screen Toaster. And another thing, I don't understand the logistics of how Link is able to lift up this, this, this bean as a minish, because it's it's like 20 times his size. And there are two ways you can put it in: you can throw it, or you can just fall down the hole and lose a quarter of a heart. But anyway, we are done here as a minish, so we'll come back here. But yeah, um. I hate to be leaving you guys so soon after I started, after I just started, I mean this is only like the ninth part, but somehow it seemed longer than that, I know. But um, you know, this this visiting relatives thing, it's been planned since like March, April, so there's nothing you can do up here just yet, because you can't climb. And by the way, there are these guys hiding under rocks, they're really evil. I don't like them, because the only way you can remove their rocks at this point is with the gust jar. It's just, yeah. But yeah, I really hate to be leaving you guys so soon, but yeah. We really hate to be ascending so soon, but you know, blah blah blah. Okay, fail quote is fail. Okay, we'll come up here. There's a blank wall here. What do you suppose we should do? We should bomb it. And I'm nearly out of bombs for some reason. Hmm. Well, we'll get more in here, I think. Ah, Chu died. And another kinstone, huzzah. I think I'll take this opportunity to go into the screen and show you the kinstones. Okay, this is basically what kinstones look like. Except there's another color, which is green. And they're generally more common than these other ones. The red ones are the rarest, blue is kind of in the middle, and the greens are the most common. You can find them running around slashing at grass, killing enemies, that sort of thing. They're very common. Blue and red ones, you generally only find in, like, treasure chests and stuff. So, yeah. We'll just, uh, break these pots, because I need more bombs. Go back this way, put the bombs, so we can blow these. La la la. Yeah. The best, something that I like to do for these really annoying choo-choos is just wait till they get closer and then smack them when they're not spikes. There you go. That, that worked better than in my last attempt at recording. See, the last attempt at my recording, a, it, it messed up somehow, and I lost the video, and it sucked, so I'm happy to re-record this, but whatever. Um, that strategy looked, worked a lot better. Anywho. Going to the left, or rather the west, just leads you back down to Cornell Wall, where you can't do anything yet, because you can't climb, because 
the beginning of the game, Link has no skills whatsoever except for being able to swing a sword. So, of course, he can't climb. Of course. Go away, Tech Tech, you're annoying my face. Don't quite know how that's possible, but you but you are. But I haven't mentioned it before. I hate Tech Techs, and I hate those things! Grr. You must die. You must die. Come here, pea hat. Ugh, my gosh. Just the fact that I keep getting hurt by these guys is, you know... I fail so much at Zelda. Like, if I, if I hadn't had, like, previous practice, if I don't do, like, a practice run later in the game for these things, it's just... It's not even gonna be funny how much fail there's gonna be. And look, another Deku Scrub. What do you have for me, man? Okay, you got me. Let it, let me make it up to ya. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain! So what do you say, huh? Give me your money. Yeah, sure, if it lets us climb, that's good. You got the grip ring. Huzzah. So yes. Now Link suddenly, magically, has the ability to climb, see? Woo! Yeah, there's nothing we can do up there on that ledge. I have to wait until later in the game. But anyway, yeah. Do-do-do. do Yeah. <sighs> ah, boulders and tectites and tectites and... Nearly getting hurt in essence. Stop jumping around so much. Stupid tech tights. Anyway, this is the Cornell wall. Um, yeah. My advice for climbing this thing, if you're having problems with the boulders, if you see one coming towards you, like that, move to the side. Because you move a lot faster side to side than you do up and down. Anyway, oh, yeah, oh, that was close. So anyway, come over here, bomb this wall, and there's something good inside. I can get into it. Ooh, peaceful music. Now, what are we supposed to do here? Hmm. Well, if you read the sign outside, which I didn't, you know that it says no throwing bombs. So let's just throw a bomb in there just to see what happens. And something's obviously happening. What is this? Oh, crap. It looks like Navi. It's not Navi, is it? Oh, good. It's not Navi. Hooray. Welcome to the Adventurous Spring, young spastic Link. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? Okay, here, you want to be honest and say neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventure with some of my power. You got a bigger bomb bag! Yay! And she kindly refilled it for us, too. May light shine on your quest. Yay. Yeah, there's, there, there are three, I think, great fairies in this game. Just scattered around Hyrule. Um... Quite frankly, they're a lot less creepy in this game than they were in Ocarina of Time. But yeah. Let's see if I can fit an obscure video game reference in here. Come on, Boulder. Follow me. And it didn't follow me. Oh well. If it did, I would have gone, ah, ah, oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. In reference to a very, very, I need my gust jar. Stop chasing me. Stupid tactite. Oh yeah. Reference to a very old game called Alpiner. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess if you sneak up from behind on them, then they... Yeah. I'm gonna look for hearts. Ah! No, no, one of these things. Oh, I hate these. Go away. If they latch onto you, then they... Yeah. Make it so you can't move. There's not much down here. There's just an old hermit guy who will fuse with you. But, he fuses with the green kinstone, and we- and, as you can see, we have no green kinstone. Uh, anyway. Look! It's another mushroom! That, 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 that. We'll grab it. So for this one, you want to pull it back as far as you can. Just make Link's face go red, because otherwise, you ain't gonna make it. Ooh, look. It's raining. And there's slightly different music. Ooh, how scary. Oh, goodness. Let's shrink. Yes. Let's go through here. Now this, you're gonna wanna, like, just roll like crazy. 
because yeah, if one of them hits us, it's like one of the boulders on Mount Cornell. So just roll your way through here, and you should get through with minimal damage. Huzzah, I didn't get hurt at all there, yay. Usually I, only, I always get hurt, hit about once. Anyway, there's this little boulder puzzle around here. So, but that will have to be, be, wait until next time on Let's Play Minish Cap. This is Lady Kralix. Adios.